Hello, this time we're going to uh, develop in full details uh, this diagonalization problem. And it starts like this. Uh, so let A be the matrix just involved. And here we want to find an invertible matrix S and a diagonal matrix D such that A is equal to S D inverse of S. Equivalently, the S inverse times A times S is equal to D. In other words, what we're going to show is that A is diagonalizable. Right? That's the intention. Right? So that's what we're saying, if possible. So, to start with that, uh, I'm going to do the following. First, I'm going to compute the characteristic polynomial of A. Right? Which is nothing else but the determinant of the matrix uh, 3 minus t, 0, 0, 4, 4 minus t, 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 5 minus t. Of course, we have seen at least three, uh, three ways to compute such determinants, but this time I think that the most efficient one would be to, to actually go over the cofactor expansion along the first row. So, we will use the cofactor expansion along the first row. And why is that? Well, if we examine this matrix here, we see that it has two zeros. So uh, in this case, I think computations will be uh, much easier to be carried out. So we'll, we'll continue like this, right? So I'll write it as, in terms of the cofactor expansion, as usual, where this one denotes the ijth entry, and this one, the determinant of the submatrix obtained by eliminating the ith row and the jth column. Uh, and for this one, what we're going to do is take this and let i be 1. So that way we're doing this uh, expansion along the first row. And of course, uh, j will have to range from 1 to 3. Right? So this one now becomes from j from 1 to 3 of negative 1 to i to the j flower, a1 j, m1 j. Well, of course, what is this? Well, this expression becomes negative 1 to the 1 plus 1 times uh, 3 minus t times the determinant of the matrix 4 minus t, 6, negative 3, negative 5 minus t. Well, continuing with this, this reduces to 3 minus t uh, times uh, 4 minus t times negative 5 minus t minus negative 3 times 6. Right? Following the rule of the 2 by 2 determinant, and this one uh, may be expanded as follows, simply as negative 20 minus 4t plus 5t plus t squared plus 18. All right. This one may be reduced now to 3 minus t times t squared plus t minus 2. And this one now, in turn, as 3 minus t. And now this might be factored as um, t plus 2 and t minus 1. What is this indicating, right? So this, since this is the complete factorization of the characteristic polynomial, it roots, its roots correspond to the eigenvalues of the matrix. So this... Then A 
has three different eigenvalues. So from here, we can infer that immediately it is diagonalizable. So we no longer have to say if possible, it's going to be possible. Um, why? Well, look, uh, this is saying, right, that uh, in this case, uh, for each of the eigenvalues, the one associated with this factor, with this one, and with this one, the algebraic multiplicity and the geometric multiplicity coincide. Now, we have three of them, and, well, they add up to three in terms of the dimensions of each of the corresponding eigenspaces. So, what we have is a diagonalizable matrix. So, all that we have to do is to find basis for this uh, eigenspace. So, what are the eigenvalues? Well, they are denoted by, in increasing order, uh, first by negative 2, then 1, and finally, 3, right? So, for the first one, right, in the case of lambda equal to negative 2, we have to compute a basis for the null space of A plus 2I. So, this reduces to find a basis for the null space of the following matrix. We have 5, 0, 0, 4, 6, 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 3. Right? Yes, it's like that. From this one, well, what we're going to do is perform a series of reductions. Now, for this matrix, what we're going to do is First, multiply the first, the second row by one half, and just from here, what we're gonna get is the following: we have five zero zero, um, two three three, negative two, negative three, negative three. From here, perform the following row operation: uh, to row uh, number. 3, we're going to add row number 2, and we're going to get 5, 0, 0, 2, 3, 3, 0, 0, 0. Then from there, we're going to get the following operation. Um, 1 fifth of row number 1, and this reduces to 1, 0, 0, uh, 2, 3, uh, <coughs> 2, 3, 3. 0, 0, 0. Now, one more operation here. Uh, to row 2, we're going to subtract twice row number 1, and we get 1, 0, 0, 0, 3, 3, 0, 0, 0. And lastly, what we're going to do is multiply by 1 third the second row, and we're going to get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. This is in row reduce echelon form, and now it's time to interpret this as, well, as a system of equations, right, involving three unknowns, uh, where we have this. We have that a vector x1, x2, x3 belongs to the eigenspace associated with lambda equal to negative 2, if and only if we half that x1 is 0, we read that from this, uh, from this row, and also x2 plus x3 is equal to 0, right? We read that from this row. Well, but this one is the same as to simply indicate that x1, x2, and x3 is actually written as 0 in the first entry, then negative x3, x3, for which we may factor x3 and obtain 0, negative 1, 1. So what does this mean? What we have is that, indeed, the eigenspace associated with lambda equal to 2, to negative 2, I'm sorry, is equal to the span 
of the linearly independent set containing 0, negative 1, and 1 as its only vector. Okay? Okay. So what we're going to do now is uh, essentially repeat the process for each of the eigenvalues. For lambda equal to 1, what we have is now that we want to find uh, an algebraic description of the eigenspace associated with 1, which is nothing but the null space of A minus the identity, which is simply the following uh, the following matrix. Um, here we have 2, 0, 0, 4, 3, 6, negative 2, uh, negative 3, and here negative as this one is negative 5, mm, minus 1, so negative 6, right? Okay. And then from here, well, look, what is, a we, what is a we can do? Well, before we attempt anything, let's, let's, look at the, let's look at the structure. Let's look at the structure of this matrix. I mean, we can perform a, a, a regular row reduction and then obtain exactly what we need. Um, using Gauss Jordan elimination. But look, there's a, there's a lot of structure in this matrix that we can that we can take advantage of. And we can say, look, this entry, right? And this entry can play together to obtain a multiple of this row. So what is that we can do? Well from this matrix that we have here, right? I'm going to just copy it down once again. So I have 2, 0, 0, 4, 3, 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 6. And then what I'm going to do is to row number 3, I'm going to subtract row number 1. And I'm going to get the following 2, 0, 0, 4, 3, 6, negative 4, negative 3, negative 6. And then from here, what I'm going to do is to row number 3, I'll add row number 2. And I'll get 2, 0, 0, 4, 3, 6, 0, 0, 0. Now, I want to eliminate this 4. So what I will do is to row number 2, subtract twice row number 1. And I will get 2, 0, 0. 0, 3, 6, 0, 0, 0. And then from here, what I will do is two operations at once. First, multiply the first row by one half and multiply by one third the second row. And that means that we're going to get 1, 0, 0. Um, 0, uh, 1, 2. 0, 0, 0. Okay. okay, so just from here, uh, what is that we're reading from this portion? Well, we have this. We have x1, x2, and x3 belongs to the eigenspace associated with lambda equal to 1 if and only if we have, well, look, let's reinterpret this as a system of equations. This says that x1 is 0, uh, x2 plus 2x3 is 0, right, simultaneously. But this may be written in the following fashion as x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to negative 2x3. So, uh, what is that we can do? Well, from here, I'm going to expand and say, look, if I have a, ma a vector in these conditions, x2, x3, I'm going to write it as 0 for the first, then uh, as negative 2, x3, and then x3. From here, extract the x3 that is common to the three components, so 
So 0, negative 2, 1. And then from here, indicate, well, look, this one is the one that's going to generate every single element in this eigenspace. So E lambda 1 is going to be given by the all the linear combinations from the following set, 0, negative 2, 1. Okay, um, so one more computation and we will be done. Now the one associated with lambda equal to, to 3. And, well, once again, what we have is that we're going to do this, which is nothing else but the null space of A minus 3 times identity, but this is the null space of the following matrix. We have... 0, 0, 0, uh, 4, uh, 1, uh, 6, then negative 2. Uh, here we're going to do negative 3. And, well, we have negative 5 minus 3. That is, that is the following. Oh, wait, sorry for this. Sorry for this portion, which was unintended. Uh, this would be negative 5 minus 3. That's negative 8. Okay. So, what are we going to do from this point? Well, let's observe. Um, what kind of reductions can be done from this position? Well, look, uh, what happens if we multiply this, this row, the one that we have here, by, let's say, by, by 2? So now we copy the matrix. We have 0, 0, 0, uh, 4, 1, 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 8. Then for this one, what I will do is multiply by 2 the third row, and we will get 0, 0, 0, 4, 1, 6, negative 4, negative negative 6 and negative 16. Right? Then from here what we're going to do is perform a single elimination and I'll do this to row number to row number 3 I'm going to add row number 2. Get 0, 0, 0 uh, 4, 1, 6 then 0, followed by negative 6, and uh, plus 1, well, that's negative 5, and this one would be negative 16, negative 15. Okay, okay. now... We're going to do the following. Uh, I'm going to multiply the first row, the second row, I'm sorry, by one fourth, and we'll get zero, 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 um, one, one quarter, then uh, three halves. And for this one, we have zero. Uh, now, negative 5, negative 15. Well, what I'm going to do at this point is that I'm going to multiply the third row by 1, by negative 1 fifth. So, negative 1 fifth of row 3, and we'll get 0, 0, 0, 
one, one quarter, three halves. Then zero, one, three. Okay. Uh, last operation that we're going to perform is I'm going to eliminate this entry. So what, it, what I'm going to do is uh, to row number two, I'm going to subtract uh, one fourth of row number three. So what we're going to get is the following expression, zero, 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 one, uh, zero. Then we have three halves minus three quarters. Well, that is just three quarters. And we have now uh, uh, zero, one, three. So uh, let's see. Let's see what else is that we have to what we have to do. Because now uh, what we observe is that we can do the following. We can interpret this as x1, x2, x3, and we have the following uh, essential system of equations because this says uh, x1 uh, plus 3 quarters of x3 is equal to 0. And x2 uh, plus 3x3 is equal to 0. Equivalently, we have that x1 is equal to negative 3 quarters of x3, and x2 is equal to negative 3x3. So, uh, from here, what we have is that a vector x1, x2, x3 belongs to the eigenspace associated with lambda equal to 1 if and only if we have that x1, x2, x3 is actually represented as negative 3 quarters of x3, negative 3 x3, and x3 by itself. And then from here, what we can get is that we can extract the x3 that is common to all of them. We have negative 3 quarters, negative 3, and 1. So, the eigenspace associated, sorry, this should be 1, this should be 3, with 3, is equal to the span of the linearly independent set consisting of negative 3 quarters, negative 3, and 1. So, if we set S to be the following matrix, I'm just going to compile everything that we have done. It would be the vector 0, negative 1, 1, followed by the column vector 0, negative 2, 1, followed by the column vector negative 3 quarters, negative 3, 1. Then, we can verify that that's exactly what we wanted to find. So, S inverse A. S is diagonal. And what is this diagonal? Well, in fact, the diagonal that we're going to develop here is nothing else but the one given by negative 2, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 3. Now, this is just a matter of direct computation that you can perform uh, at your own pace. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, this is very complete. It's full of details. And, well, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. See you next time.